You keep shoving your DAC in my face. Topping. Okay, so <clears throat> we all know my opinion on DACs at this moment, so let's make this review a little different. Um, this is a Topping D70S, which is the newest DAC from Topping. 660s, by the way. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this review as a little bit as like a um a rebuttal to all the comments that were in the Hollow May review, and there's been comments in every subsequent video since that, because I basically um I ruined a lot of people's toys. That they're like, oh, Zeal said she doesn't even know the difference between DAX and the output stage. It's just all the same. It's and she's obviously he's deaf. People are paying him for this shit. So my slight rebuttal is, look, shut up. And then on top of that, look, I too suffer from the thing that you're feeling. Where it's like, it's, it, is it FOMO? It might be a little bit of fear missing out. It might just be a little bit like, oh, but you know, this DAC's more expensive than this DAC. This DAC has a better output stage. Because a, a real basic, um, for those of you who've just found this channel, I don't want to make this like some video that you're like, who is this asshole? What's he talking about? Um, this is a DAC. And you give it power, and you give it signal of some point. And then this particular uh, topping D70S has a very, very thick HDMI cable going into it, coming from uh, that, which is the Pi 2AS, which is just hanging under my desk. That's giving it signal. We're getting it from the Wi Fi, blah, blah, blah. Um, and all a DAC does is takes power and takes signal of some sort, digital signal of some sort from music here, Spotify, Tidal, Quo Buzz, Amazon Music, which was actually really good sounding and highly underrated, but no one uses them. Who, who uses Amazon Music? Tell me in the description below on how you deal with it, because like I'd use it if it was just easier. Um, but it takes all digital thingies and it makes it into analog thingies. And if you don't know what analog thingies are, when 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 a headphone makes sound shoot through it. It's because a, a driver is doing this, which this isn't digital. Digital would be if it was here and then here and then here and then here and then here or here. It's It's got to be a smooth flowing wave form of analog. We live in an analog world. This is it's what our lights and our eyes and everything is analog. And to get things out of the computer world and into the analog world, you need a converter. So that you know, we can actually amplify the signal. Um, for the amplification purposes of today, I'm using another topping, which is the A50S, which I basically said was the baby version of the A90, and I stand by that. And then I've got the Singer SA1, which is a Class A, which is a much different sounding amplifier than this or that, and it's very, very smooth and creamy, and it just, it just, oh. Here, there's differences in sound. Dax less so, but I will. I'll bow to this. There is, inside every DAC, a little amplifier, a little tiny amplifier, and all its job is is to take the digital signal that gets put through your, in this case, it's an AK, uh, this is a 9.7 chip in here, because DACs can have different chipsets, and this is the, uh, where are you? Yeah, the AKM AK4497EQ DAC, which uh, I believe is an upgrade from what they use, I think they used a 9.9 in the, the D90, and this is the 9.7, so it's a slightly, slightly lesser. And as soon as you hear that, you're like, oh shit, I don't want this, I want the best one. Give me the best one. Um, okay, well, but there is a little, the little jack chip does its thing, and it gives you a signal, but it doesn't give you enough to have the voltage output to, you know, for four volts for balanced, or two and a quarter volts for RCA. So there has to be an amplifier in every DAC. Not an amplifier for headphones, an amplifier for amplifiers. Okay, we're on that? Great. And uh, they can vary. Because the, the chipset itself, the way the chipset is implemented, the way they run power to it, the components they've put around the chip, because the chip is just a chip. You still need to plug the chip into a board, and the board is for topping to design, or SMSL to design, or, or benchmark to design. That's their design fucking mastering. And then the amplifier is also there. So there is parts of it that is not just the chip itself. So the problem is I can't tell them apart, as I've tested with the Hollow May review. Uh, so, I'm gonna give this a big A plus, thumbs up, because this DAC at $650 probably perfectly represents, like, enough 
science. There's science in here and, and work to make everybody who's like, but Zeos, I want a good DAC and make you guys all happy. And it's just expensive enough that I don't think you're wasting your money. Th this is a perfect DAC. Not because it sounds perfect, but because it does all the features I look for in a DAC, the build quality and the price all line up so that even if I think old DACs sound the same and you know you can get a JNOG or a, you know through $300 DAC, this is just expensive enough that you know that it's obviously, obviously better than that because it's more money. But at the same point in my heart of hearts, I'm not afraid to recommend this because I think if you got this, you'd all be happy. Anyone who gets a $650 DAC is not gonna go out and wow, I really want that $750 DAC. It's in there, it's all in there. Humans are fucked up in that way. I show you a $95 toy and there's a $99 toy next to it. Obviously the $99 toy is better. It isn't, they're literally the same thing with the price changed, but humans are fucked up. So DACs are another example of humans are fucked up. And uh, trust me, I still reach for expensive DACs when I want to test something, even though I've proven it to myself that it doesn't really fucking matter. Not really. Does it matter? Maybe it does. I, I, even I can't convince myself fully. So don't worry, we're all going through this trauma together. We need to go, we need to have a group meeting, like an AA meeting, but for DAC enthusiasts. So what do I think about the D70S? Well, I honestly think it looks better than the D90. I think the the flat fascia with the, oh God, that is very thick. The, the cropped little place for the logo to sit down. When I talked about topping a long time ago, one of the things I mentioned was that it feels like there's two factories. One factory that made topping stuff that was garbage. It, it was fine to listen to, but it was like built like shit. And there was another factory that they did this. They did this topping out crop and that was like the MX-3 was an amazing piece of equipment and looked and felt so good. And it had this like the like square box, square edges, a little rounded on the end, a little, little taper here. And then they cropped in the word topping. So that doesn't have it. This has it. And automatically my, my monkey brain went, oh, this is a better one because it's, it's got that box. Uh, it is more square than that. That thing has rounded edges and like, like tilts. That thing, by the way, being the D90, which is, that's what that is, which feeds a lot of the stack. Um, square box, probably not any heavier. Little uh, lines here, just for artistic sake. Square front. We've got a power button, a select button, and left and right. I do still have it set to pre-mode. And just like the D90, they have not fixed the speed of the volume, which is uh, fast. So I don't have, I have that one locked into DAC mode and I can't adjust the volume, but I'm pretty sure they are the same. And it's the same on the remote control as well. We'll look at the remote. It's a standard topping remote for those of you who are interested in keeping remote duties. Power, mute, uh, volume up, volume down. I think left and right does, yeah, input change. We're on IIS or I2S that you don't spell out. Uh, the center button switches between your output of RCA or XLR or both. And I have both on because I'm running the RCA to the topping A50 stack and I'm running the XLR to the Singzer SA1, um, which is the class I am. The headphone button does nothing. The lineup button does nothing. The fear button, which is the filter, changes the filter mode in the DAC. Another thing I don't hear. And I think what I've come to the conclusion with with my patrons in the, pay, in the $10 chat, because I talk with them constantly, there's got to be just a percentage of people, and I don't know what it is, we'd have to do a real long study, that hear these things, that have better hearing than the rest of us, or have more focus on certain things than the rest of us, and it could be 20%. I like that number. I like, I think 80% of people just wouldn't hear the difference between DAX, or don't care, or not audiophiles, and the other 20% can, or maybe they can. So like filters, I've never been able to hear the difference between filters. And if you look at what filters do, usually after the 20,000 hertz cutoff, it's what it does with the information up there. And people say that that can affect what happens to the rest of the thing all the way down, but I have never heard it. So you can change the filter to, there's six different modes. I'm sure they're brick wall, fast roll off, slow roll off. I don't care. Um, M mode, nothing. Auto, on or auto off. I believe that will just turn the DAC off automatically. If the signal is received, we're going to leave that off because I'm working on it. I don't want it to shut off. And then the last one, which looks like a contrast adjustment, is display and it says H A 
L or M. And A is display will go automatically. I think it'll sure shut off. I think it'll shut off if I leave it alone. I haven't tested this yet. But low, medium, and high, I leave it on high because I'm I like I don't mind looking at it. I will tell you this much from looking at the the D90 and the, the, the D70S here, the D90's display, even though it looks identical, bluer, blue white, where this is like a green, a green white, a little more subdued. I like the look of this one better. That's like a that has nothing to do with the way it sounds. It's just my fucking opinion. Now, there was a D70. Before the D70S, the D70S adds MQA, which is a whole other. I'm gonna, you know what? I'll leave that to patrons to argue in the comments that D, the MQA is a, uh, a money-making scheme. Someone will write an article, and I'll just be like, "Yep, see, that's what I said." Because apparently, to do MQA, you need to pay the MQA company. If you want to have your music in MQA, you got to pay the MQA company. If you want to stream MQA, you got to pay the MQA company. It's still lossy. It's still a lossy format, but it's an MQA mastered MQA. So you're you're just fucking with the masters so that everyone has to pay you. Lossless exists, people. I don't understand. Um, oh, by the way, Spotify Hi-Fi is coming. Like, there's going to be another tier up, and I'm so getting it. Because I don't know why Spotify took so fucking long, number one. I feel bad for Tidal people. They're, they're just going to be like, ah, because that's all Tidal has going for it right now. Um, Q-Buzz, Quo-Buzz is like super duper high end streaming, but their library is too small for me to like consider them. And I, they, they were trying to do sponsorship with me, but like, it's nothing I want to listen to on here. Um, and basically everything I want to hear is on Flack anyway. So we're just, we're way off on a fucking tangent. The display. i pick this up. I'm going to try not to, if I move some stuff, I can pick this up less damagingly. I, I pull out the selection of headphones just because, you know, that's sort of my job is to listen to it and see if I could tell a difference. The previous DAC I had on this desk, like expensive DAC, which I talked about being in comparison to the M400 DAC, which was the topping D, the, uh, the Lox GD50 DAC, which is another expensive DAC. It's like $720. So this is $70 cheaper than that. Okay, here, different. Um, uh, I tried to like use, I use, I kept the Singer here because I use that. And I just tried to see if maybe I remembered something from last week when I was using the Lox G versus this week when I'm using the D70S because I use this for a couple of reviews. Eh, not really. Eh. My goal in this channel, I'll, I'll get to my goal in this channel in a second. Hold on. So you see right here, very intuitive display, by the way, the bottom left hand corner. Uh, show, wow, I just made it worse. Shows the input bit, bit rate, which is 44.1. 44.1, I know, I'm a peasant. It's PCM, not DSD or anything. Um, the upper here shows you the input, and then there's an arrow, and it shows you R plus X. So it's IIS going into RCA and XLR. If you set that to not be RCA and XLR, just RCA, it'll show you that. Show it to be optical, into, it's wonderful. And it's got big fucking numbers for the actual volume. Which, as we discussed, if you want to hear me rant on, on when volume control is too fast. So let's see. Let's put something on. Is it playing? Is she playing? Perfect. You know what? I, I say it's too fast, but at the same time... I don't hate that. Any faster than that would be bad, and any slower than that would be wasting my time. Because I'm down 50 decibels right now. Like the Singer is sort of parked there at noon, and I can still hear the music at 50. I mean, the, the, those noises in the background of my reviews, which I'm sure you've all fucking noticed. Just shut the heat off. Winter, winter needs to end, but then as soon as winter ends, spring's here. Then I have a, a window where there's no noise in the background. Then summer happens, then the air conditioners come on, which is the same units. So <laughs> I'm just screwed. I'm going to have to build a box around that. So you know what? I'm, I'm going to retract my despise of the speed of the volume on the D90 and this. Although I think the D... I don't know what it was. The D90 felt like it ramped faster, even though it looks like it's going the exact same speed. But as I scroll up and down, uh, let's see how long it takes me to get to negative 50 and go. 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It's only about five seconds to get down there, right? One second per 10 decibels. And I, that's not bad. I, I, I Listening to headphones with it, like I want it to be quieter, I want it to be louder. It, it gets there. It just, it ups and gets there. Just be careful with speakers. So let's take these off for a second. I'm gonna plug something else in there because we, we, what we do here on Z Reviews is just keep plugging shit in. Um, I wanna take this moment to debut um, Frankenstein's fucking nightmare. Uh, I may have damaged my Grado hemp. I took my Grado hemp's apart because I wanted to see if I could do something with them. And then I wanted to take the yolks off, the things that actually hold the wooden cups. And I spread them apart and slid one off and it was fine. I spread the other one apart and slid it off and it cracked. So I invented this uh, system of, I glued GS1000 pads to the rings that were inside the cups for the Hyphaman HE300s. Then I wired tied them back on and then I just popped this son of a bitch into the pad itself. And so now I have Hyphaman Grado Hemp's. And let me tell you, this feels better on my head because it's an actual headphone now. Wait, I plugged in the wrong thing. Oh, uh, I just want to point out also, the uh, DT880 600 ohms work on the Singzer. In case you saw, because I don't think I tried those when I was reviewing the Singzer. So I'm going to use this review opportunity, even though I'm talking about this DAC. I'm going to talk about that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're back to that thing of... Well, Zios, aren't you supposed to be reviewing this DAC? Well, here's the thing. If I put on headphones that I know and love, and even though you've never seen these and they look fucking weird, this is, this is know and love, and I plug them into an amplifier that I know and love, and I hook it up to this DAC, which is the new part of the new boy. It's this new thing, right? I did cover this, and this could be something, anything randomly underneath this fucking under my arms. If I still love the headphones, the amp, and the music as much as I did on the last random metal box that converts digital to analog, then what have I gained or lost? Nothing. I just, I want to put something here and so do you, and it's the only way I could fucking deal with this is that we, I trust the box. I need to put a, a box I fucking trust here in this spot. The DAC is right below the, I would even, almost say the wires are more important than the DAC because the wires need to be physically plugged and unplugged and if they break, it's bad. But I would say, concern yourself with your music, with your player settings, with your you know function, Wasapi and everything, and then the headphones and you get find the headphones you like, then find amplifiers to power those headphones you like correctly, and then it's a DAC, and then make sure all your wiring is, is good and not pieces of shit, and then your power is clean. Clean power is, Clean power and DAC are like on the same level in my mind. I have I have a fucking firm and power conditioner here. People are like, no, 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 you need to get a dedicated line run from your box, which I can do, because I'm on my base when I'm about to do that. But it's like, the DAC just has to be trustworthy. You want a solid, it, it's like your SSD in your computer. All right, I don't know how many people this is gonna apply to, but no one jerks off about their SSD. Your graphics card, your monitor, your mouse, your ga the LEDs. Your SSD just has to be reliable. It has to read fast enough. Is it fast? It's going to be fast. It's an SSD. It's fast. MM2 drive. Fine. Is it fast enough? You put it in your computer. You load Windows on it. You never think about it again. That's it. That's a DAC. That's a DAC. In compu for, for you PC builders out there, that is it. Even your CPU cooler, like it could be related to that. It's like, yeah, the CPU is doing all the work up and down. That's the headphone. That's your music. That's the big heavy hitters. The DAC just has to be the reliable thing. Your power supply, maybe, you could associate with that. Your, your CPU cooler, your SSD, something that's just, those are the parts of your computer that you don't, you, you're glad you have good ones. But they don't like, you don't brag about it. I mean, you could brag about your power supply if it's super crazy. But most of the time, it doesn't have to do anything special. Just do your job and don't fucking break. You don't have to do anything special. Just do your job and don't fucking break. By the way, has high res audio and high res audio wireless sticker. Yeah, the wireless is a sticker because it's got Bluetooth, which you can shut off in the hidden menu, which we'll show you now. I'll shut this off. Hold that down. To access the hidden menu, flip the power switch on the back after the unit is turned off. Hold down the select button and then flip it on. 
Boom, a hidden menu. I think you could navigate this with the remote. I was doing it with the controls. Nope, you can't. It doesn't enable the fucking remote. <sighs> All right. So that means if you want to go through this, you can. Now, some of these options are available without dicking through the, the secret menu, but you have auto on and off, display high, low, medium, and auto, which you can change here. So these are, these are options we have from the remote control, but if you lost your remote control, this is how you would get to them. Then you have line out mode, which is where you set it to either be volume adjustable on the front or with the remote, or set it to be a DAC only. Now I don't need it to be a DAC only, so I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna set it to be a DAC only because I don't need to really control the volume outputs for these. These both have their own volume controls for good. If you were using like powered monitors, if you hook this up, the output of this to powered monitors or power amplifier, and you were gonna use this as the volume control, you would leave that in pre mode. We then have uh, the XLR or RCA or RCA or XLR only setting, which again is available through the remote control. Then you have Bluetooth on or off. So you can actually disable Bluetooth, which might be beneficial to some people because a lot of these units, when they're just on, will just grab Bluetooth out of the fucking sky. And if you have n shitty neighbors or your own phone, you just turn on Bluetooth and all of a sudden, why is there music? Why is the porn I'm watching on the toilet not making sound? And you keep turning up the volume on your phone and all of a sudden you hear in the back of your fucking, like way over there where other people are, your headphones blaring fucking Pornhub, and it's like, oh shit, so you might want to shut off the Bluetooth. Um, PCM filter, uh, mode one, two, two, same thing we could adjust on the remote. Uh, it doesn't actually tell you which one the modes are, you gotta look at the book. And then we have the DSD uh, filter, which again is mode one, two, three, well, oh, excuse me, mode one or two for DSD filters. Then there's the IIS phase, which could be reverse, I'm sorry, which could be reverse or standard. I'm going to put it back to standard because I hadn't changed it before. Then there's the IIS DSDR, which is either data or LR clock, which I'm not doing DSD over the IIS2S. And then there's a DSD flag, which was default to four, to 15 and was has to be set to 14 because the way the Pi hat communicates with it, it's not a standard, so you have to have the way that the flags work. So I had to set the 14 so I didn't get static through the headphone. And then we have phase normal or reversed, and then you have save and exit, and you do that, and then it restarts, and then it's running normally. Let's make sure the actual sound keeps working now that I've changed. Oh, it does, okay. Yeah, I don't, just ju just like I was with the Hollow May, I don't think this is making me enjoy my headphones and my amplifier and my music any more or less. But my God, I want it to be a solid, concise, pro piece of gear. And uh, the argument in the chat was, at least my $10 chat was, well, but if you can afford it, Zeos, why not? And because that's against my own personal morals. Just because you can afford something doesn't mean you should do it. Hey, I could afford to move to Uganda and own slaves. Doesn't mean you should fucking do it. All right? Think for a second, McFly. Think. Just because you've got a million dollars doesn't mean you need to spend 30000 on your DAC. Because obviously I can, so why wouldn't I? Because you spending money on that DAC makes other people think they should spend the money on the DAC. And it's going to back down to the point where people who can afford it... Not that you shouldn't have dreams. <laughs> this is going to get off a little bit of a little tangent here. But there's just a line that everybody needs to draw in the sand... And the farther up we draw the line, because this is not like, oh, I'm going to live my dream. You want to own seven Bugatti Veyrons? Fine. It might be too many, but I'm not, who am I to talk? And you might want to own a $50,000 DAC. And that might be too much, but who am I to talk? I'm just some asshole on the internet. But I'm going to, I'm still not going to tell you to do it. That's, that is against my moral code of like, look, headphones, lots of headphones, great. Couple amps, really unique, special, great. DAC, good enough. Move on. Get more music. So, someone someone said something. There was a comment that I liked in the um, Hollow May review, which was like, I forget what it was. It was like, how many... Oh, how, I can't think of how many cats I could adopt with, four, with an extra $4,000. And I'm like, yeah, like lots. Like lots of sick outdoor cats. And I'm a cat lover. So it's like, yeah, that one... Look, now not everyone's going to be a philanthropist. And most people are going to just do whatever the fuck they want. 
but I got to be able to speak just so that 1% of people just go, you know what? He's right. $650 is enough for a DAC. That fucking top, the Lakshi D50, 750, 720, that's enough. Eh, 1500, eh, 2000, ah, 4000, 30,000. Uh, just enjoy your fucking music. If you can't enjoy your music without spending $4,000 on a DAC, you might want to try something else. Because oh, listening to music is broken for you. God, I love this amp and deck. This amp and headphone combo is just... This is where the money is. This this where the money be. Great O'Hems and the fucking Singzer. That's where the money at. Oh, i plug one more thing in. I, I didn't listen to those, but I want to just plug in the clear uh, HP costs. The clear KPH 30 eyes. I should probably hit play. How are these headphones so good? See here, this is this is my channel. If you think you should stay on my channel or not, this is how you determine that. If you own a set of KPH 30 eyes and you put $10 pads in them, spending a total of maximum of like $42 for this setup, because at the, at the most highest price for KPH 30 eyes is like 30 bucks. And these are like 12 if you get the, the more expensive one. If you have this and you listen to them and you go, oh, these are garbage, get off my channel. Because they're not. They scale with equipment. If you have like, a, I plugged it into something shitty and it was like, ugh. I had this in the little x amp that had no power and it was like, ugh. But if you plug these into something quality and you don't just, enjoy, you don't realize that, wow. The cost of things is way the fuck off, and these sound amazing for, for 40 bucks. Oh, John Wick is playing. Is some of the sound attributed to the DAC? Sure, certainly. Some percentage, some very unperceivable percentage of the DAC is making this sound as good as it does. But I could stop the video right now and put the, what's the shittiest, cheapest DAC I have? I think I have an M100, I an SMSL M100, but even that was a decent enough DAC. Dacs are great. Get one that you like. Get one that you trust. Spend just enough to make yourself feel good. And then move on to another hobby. There, the, That's the end of it. Um, wallpaper in the description. Link to this. At APOS in the description. Love the build. Buy it for the build. Buy it for life. Buy it for love. What I forget what that was. It Maybelline? I don't remember. Uh, buy it for looks. Buy it for life. Um... Kohler? Is that a fucking... Is that for bathroom fixtures? I think it's like Kohler or Moen. I don't know. Anyway, wallpaper available in the description. Link to this in the description. Link to a bunch of headphones in the description. Link to the two amplifiers I'm using in the description. I highly recommend you all go out and get the John Wick soundtrack in FLAC or stream it on Tidal Hi-Fi when that's... A th or not Tidal Hi-Fi. Wait, don't, don't buy that. I spent too much on that. Spotify Hi-Fi when it's out. Um... Check out my subscribe star on Patreon, which you guys pay me to be honest with you. All right. If I didn't get paid by the people who are watching this, I'd have to lie to make money. But you pay me to be honest. So here you go. This is honesty for you. Um, get to see these reviews early. Uh, up to a week or more. I'm starting to build up my buffer again. God, I just nightmare. Uh, see the reviews early. Get into yard sales. I'm probably holding on to... Actually, I don't know what, what, what APOS wants to do with this. I'm selling the M400 DAC because I've had that for a while. Keeping the Lox G. I may just... Because here's the thing. As a reviewer, I am sort of required to put a DAC that everyone can look at and go, oh, he's using decent equipment. I will trust his opinion on things. I, I could just use a fucking BT... I could replace both of these racks with just a BTR-5 on Bluetooth and do most of my job. Because I trust a BTR-5 to that sort of level over LDAC. But, you know, I gotta have the, the Italian things and the German things and the tube things and the side things because it, it I I need to know that I'm, I've am i got it all set up here. So, yeah, support this channel. Uh, Patreon, subscribe, star, see videos early. Participate in the yard sales, first to the 10th of every month. I ship for free continental to the United States if you win. Uh, one third shipping you have to pay international. Bidding starts at zero on ninety nine percent of items unless they're really big and I have to put some restrictions on it. Uh, ten dollars a month gets you in the behind the scenes private Telegram chat, where if you think I'm a fucking idiot, feel free to join that. Come in, say you're a fucking idiot, and then leave. 
because I probably wouldn't leave you there. Although I like having people that, I, there's plenty of people in my $10 t Telegram chat that absolutely wholly disagree with me on the DAC thing. And all I could do is just, just say, all right, and then move on and help them with other things or they could help me. We help each other. It's a big, big community. We will not drink the Kool-Aid when the third moon rises. We won't, it's not, not that sort of community. It's not a cult yet. I'm working on it though. Um, yeah, are we done here? Hi-Fi guides and the Hi-Fi guide forums? There's a whole section on DAX. I'm sure they, I heard, I haven't been to Hi-Fi guides to actually examine it, but people who are in the forums more than I am, who have just more free time for it, are like, yo man, Hi-Fi guides is freaking out about the DAC thing, about the May thing. And I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't even want to look. Because I feel like Hi-Fi guides, while it isn't Z reviews the forum, like, I birthed it, and no one wants to see the child they birthed just start going around and murdering all the things they love. Like, it's not really a part of my, like, bucket list. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, that's that. My VUs are running. I'm going to put these back on and listen to whatever the fuck's playing. Yoko Kano Clutch. And I will see you all tomorrow for another review. There's no L&R. you got to look in the cup for the red one. There's a red wire, I think. There we go. See you tomorrow.